Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see whole the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the get exam okay so if you want to see different of the my lectures different courses you can see on the unacademy take the subscription of the unacademy and if you want to see the free classes there are also several free classes every month i take several free classes you can watch these free classes without taking subscription so for this you will have to uncode my code my code is priyanka jain 10 by clicking on this code you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the chemistry of man block elements. Here we are seeing the S block elements and very important compounds of S block elements are crown ethers and cryptates. Crown ethers and cryptates actually several macrocyclic polyethers. Macrocyclic means when they are having the large cycle like structures and these are actually polyethers okay these crown ethers are nothing these are the macrocyclic polyethers that forms highly stable complexes with alkali metals it means they can combine with the alkali metals okay and these are called crown ethers why because these are having crown like structure okay these are having crown like coordination with the alkali metals so these are known as the crown ethers okay so firstly we are understanding about the crown ethers what are the crown ethers crown ethers are nothing these are the cyclic polymers of ethylene glycol i think you all know about the structure of ethylene glycol what is ethylene glycol this is ch2oh ch2oh okay this is the structure of ethylene glycol okay and when you are polymerizing it okay when you are polymerizing it in a cycle form then you are getting a cyclic structure that is called the crown ether okay these crown ethers are of different shapes okay these may have a large chain large polycyclic structure or these may have little polycyclic structure and their names are and their names are their routine names are very much complicated so they have given the short names okay their short names are more common and these short names are like s crown y okay these are named in this manner what is this x crown y x means total number of atoms x means total number of atoms in ring while y y means the total number of oxygen atoms in ring okay so when we know about both these numbers then we can name the any crown ether okay so see here how we will name them see here we have given two different types of crown ethers in this crown ether if you are looking at this crown ether you can see one two 3, 4 and 5. 5 oxygen atoms are present. Okay. So, we will write here crown 5 and total number of atoms if you are counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, there are total number of atoms 15. So, this is called 15 crown 5. Okay. This is 15 crown 5. Similarly, if you are seeing here, there are 6 oxygen atoms. So, this is crown 6. Okay. Now, you can calculate the total number of atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. Okay. So, this is called 18 crown 6. Right. So, in this way, you have to count the whole number of atoms and you can find out the name of the particular crown ether. Now, what is the specialty of these crown ethers? Actually, these have a specific properties. These have a hole in between of the ring. In between of the ring, there is a large hole. You can see this is a large hole that is present here. Okay. And in this hole, any cation can bound selectively or 
strongly okay the alkali metals have just simply to fit in this cavity of the ligand so a smaller cation will require a smaller cavity and a larger cation will require a larger cavity okay for example 18 crown 6 this is having a large hole in between it this is a large hole okay this is a large hole so in this hole you can see this hole is large so here the potassium ion can accommodate okay so these 18 crown 6 have a selectivity for potassium ion okay this will bind potassium ion very strongly similarly 15 crown 5 this is having a smaller hole so here the sodium ion can bind okay so 15 crown 5 have a selectivity for the na plus ion it will bind specifically na plus ions okay the interior of these crown ethers if you are seeing the interior of these crown ethers are made up of oxygen atoms while this this exterior this is the exterior part okay this is the outer part and this is made up of this ch2 ch2 ring okay this is having a hydrocarbon like structure okay so you can see the exterior of this chain is made up of the hydrocarbon chain so it is having hydrocarbon properties so this will be attracted towards the non polar solvent okay so this exterior is selective for the non polar solvent okay this can complex with non polar solvents while this interior part can be soluble in the polar solvents so this is the specificity of these crown ethers so what happens if you are dissolving any alkali metal in it they will accommodate in this hole and the rest of the part will remain outside this ring okay for example suppose we are taking kmno4 solution suppose we are taking kmno4 okay kmno4 is a inorganic substance so this is insoluble in benzene you cannot dissolve it in benzene because this is a inorganic solvent and this will dissolve in organic substance only okay it dissolves readily in water but it is insoluble in benzene but if you are adding a little part of 18 crown 6 to it if you are adding 18 crown 6 in the benzene okay if you are adding 18 crown 6 in benzene then what will happen see here this is the structure of 18 crown 6 okay so what will happen this when you are dissolving kmno4 in it what will happen the k plus ion will go in the cavity okay this k plus will complex with these oxygen atoms right in this manner this will complex okay and this mno4 minus will remain outside the cavity okay now you are dissolving it in benzene but actually in benzene 18 crown 6 is present okay 18 crown 6 is already present in benzene so it cannot dissolve in benzene but it will dissolve in this 18 crown 6 this will go in this manner k plus will come here and mno6 mno4 minus will remain outside so in this way any substance that is inorganic but that is having alkali metals can be easily dissolved in the organic solvent by using the crown ethers okay so basic thing is about the crown ethers is that they are having the particular hole okay and this is the selectivity of the size of the hole that any ion will accommodate any particular cavity all right now see the cryptates cryptates are similar to crown ethers actually these are also polycyclic species like crown ethers these are also polycyclic species but the difference is that these are having both the nitrogen and the oxygen in the heterocyclic ring okay we have seen in the crown ethers we have seen that there are only oxygen atoms in the heterocyclic ring okay the ring was like ch2 ch2o ch2 ch2o but here the nitrogen and oxygen both are present in the heterocyclic rings and sometimes sometimes there may be sulfur or phosphorus may be present okay sulfur may be present or phosphorus may be present in the heterocyclic ring actually cryptates forms the cake like structure with the metals okay these cryptates have the tendency to encapsulate these can also encapsulate the alkali metals in a cake like structure so basic difference is that they are forming a hole like structure 
द क्राउन इथर्स आर फॉर्मिंग द होल लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड इन विच द एल्कलाई मेटल्स वर फिट एंड हियर क्रिप्टेड्स कैन एंड कैप्सुलेट द एल्कलाई मेटल्स इन द केक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दीज आर फॉर्मिंग द केक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ओके एंड द अनोदर डिफरेंस इज दैट दीज आर हैविंग बोथ द नाइट्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन इन द हेट्रोसाइक्लिक रिंग वाइल इन द क्राउन इथर्स ओनली ऑक्सीजन वॉज प्रेजेंट इन द हेट्रोसाइक्लिक रिंग ओके सो दीज कॉम्प्लेक्सेज आर ऑल्सो highly stable these are also known as the cladrochelates sometimes you will see here the name cladrochelates okay so this is also a specific name for the cryptates these complexes are so much stable then they can effectively stabilize an alkali metal and ion like sodide ion you have not seen the sodide ion sodide ion means na na minus ion so these are the tendency to stabilize the sodium ion in the form of na minus ion you have already seen the na plus but you have never seen the na minus but this is the specificity of cryptates that they can stabilize even the sodide ion it means in the form of na minus ion the addition of cryptate to ethyl amine solution of sodium or potassium greatly increases the solubility of alkali metals in the solution actually what happens see this is the metal in solid state and when you are adding to it cryptates this is the 2 2 2 cryptate okay this is 2 2 2 cryptate we are so here it by the short form okay this is the cryptate so when you are treating the metal with the cryptate you are getting a reversible reaction and you are getting mc plus and m minus ion okay so here the metal is getting stabilized in the m minus form okay now see the what is the structure of cryptates see this is the structure of cryptates these are having cake like structure like this here also ch2 ch2 hydrocarbon chain is present but the basic difference is that both the nitrogen and oxygen are present here now you can see here in this structure two oxygen atoms are present here two oxygen atoms are present here and two are present here so this is called 2 2 2 cryptate okay this is the structure of 2 2 2 cryptate what is the basic biological importance of crown ethers and cryptates if you are seeing these are used in the biological modeling they are used in biological modeling it means several such type of structures are actually found in our body okay and these are involved in several biological process so if we have to check these structures we can use the these structures cryptates and crown ethers as the model okay so these are used in the biological modeling because they are similar to naturally occurring cyclic polypeptides like valinomycin like non actin these have the similar type of structure as the cryptates have okay so these are used in the biological modeling so this is all about the crown ethers and cryptates if you want some more topics if you like these videos please comment me thank you